Oh right. gosh. I, I might have to do some blurring out here. Our, in a our poor mouths. Here we go. And Three, buds. two. Hi guys, and welcome back to Blanks No One Asked For. I'm Josh, this is Zach. I almost said I'm Zach, this is Josh. Oh, but that's not the way it is. Uh, and today we will be doing the second installment of Does It Work? And uh, Zach's here to explain how Does It Work does work. <laughs> that was very confusing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you've not seen the first installment of this series, what we do in this is take two or more different food combinations that probably should not go together and see if we can make it work. So we'll take food number one that probably Works. is very good. Food number two, also probably very good. And see if together we can make it work. Now you see the food combinations here on the table. We will not spoil any surprises as to what goes with what. So stay tuned to see what food combinations we put together and if it works. And if you haven't already, why don't you subscribe with notifications on. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, we have sweet tarts and nerd infused Twinkies. Mm -hmm. Obviously the, the cream was scraped out of the Twinkie the nerds and the sweet tarts were crushed up by our professional crusher over here. Yeah, should have been a doctor. And then mixed together and put back in the Twinkie, but not quite as um, eloquently as they do at the factory. Mm -hmm. We don't have fancy machines. Yeah. How do they do that anyways? How do they get the cream in the Twinkie? I got to have like a little syringe thing and just pump, because you know, three holes in the bottom. <clears throat> so, how are you feeling about this? I feel, I feel pretty good. It's beautiful. It smells great. And it smells wonderful. Alright, so, um, candy Twinkies? Does it work? Does it work? Only one way to find out. Mine's like stuck to the bottom. I want you to look at that. <laughs> that very, uh... <laughs> Unicorn Twinkies. You know Winkies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done. Yep. The Tinky Winky Twinkies. <laughs> We're bumping it. Bumping Twinkies. Kind of like how the oatmeal cool pie did in episode one. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little bit of crunch with the, the cream. I'm not a Twinkie guy. Mm -hmm. I am. I don't mm. care much for Twinkies. There's something, I don't know, it's just kind of bland to me. This does give it an extra added layer. I like it. I would eat it again. Definitely. That's a cool little party treat or something if you had time. If you could brush up all that. Syringe the stuff in there. The Tinky Winky Twinkie? I like. I think it worked. All right, so going into the last one, feeling pretty confident. Going into this one, not so much. Yeah, like. I do enjoy soy sauce. I'm, I enjoy soy sauce. I also I enjoy milkshakes. I could also I could like drink soy sauce sometimes. Well, <laughs> do I have something for you, pal? <laughs> oh, just don't know if I can do it mixed with milk and vanilla ice cream. But I'm gonna do it. We are gonna do it. So just off the look, you know, it, it, it uh, it, it kind of looked, as you were making it, it looked a lot like you said, like a salted, salted caramel. caramel. Yeah. Um, caramel or caramel? It's caramel. It's caramel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right now, it kind of like looks like a coffee milkshake. Yeah. Very coffee. Cappuccino milkshake. milkshake. Yep. All right, buddy. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to touch cups and roll. Hmm. Oh, well. 
Man, that tastes like uh, berries, don't you? Soy milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it is salty. And not horrible, horrible like I thought it would be. No, not horrible, horrible. It just kind of tastes like somebody tossed some Chinese food into the ocean and we <laughs> licked the bottom of it. It's like licking the side of a saltwater fish tank. <laughs> We'll go with, with two tries. We get it. Wish I could get more ice cream. I find myself holding back a gag. Yeah. But the after after taste the after is, almost like, is not super bad. Yeah. The soy sauce comes in strong at the end. Yeah. To like <laughs> keep you from throwing it all back up on the table. <laughs> um. Oof. I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I'm gonna go negative, man. Nah. <laughs> hard. Well, not a hard no. Yeah. <clears throat> I really wanted it to work. On the back of the bottle, it's got a uh, recipe for Creole rice. I don't think they'll be doing the uh, soy sauce milkshake on the back of the bottle anytime soon. So, Creole cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we have here is some grape jelly, some gym peanut butter, and some upside down hot tamales. Uh, cinnamon, sweet, sweet, salty. We're gonna see if it goes. Yeah, basically just crushed it all up and mixed it all together and distributed it on the bread. Now, I gotta ask you a question. Uh -oh. You know, mama used to cut the sandwiches in half to make them taste better. Is, this, is it going to work for us? Do I look like your mama? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> um, yeah, so what are we naming this? Well, you got any creative names for this? Yeah. The, uh, mm, the pepper, butter, and jelly, the sweet heat sandwich, the um, PB and T, <laughs> peanut butter and tamale. tamale. <laughs> the uh, cinnamon always used to cut these in half. <laughs> cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon sandwich. <laughs> this one's for you, cinnamon. <laughs> I, <cho> <laughs> I choose you, cinnamon. <laughs> oh. oh. Talking about yeah. All right, all right. Let's see what we, we got a touch sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's what we got. That was a hard touch. <laughs> Bang, a pound. All right, here we go. Ooh. I was having a hard time finding the mm, I found one, hot yeah. tamale at first. I think it might have to get a little bit deeper into the sandwich, but mm -hmm. not bad so far. I do know that that nice little hint of cinnamon. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Got a little chew to my sandwich. I'm not complaining. Mm -mm. Again, very similar to the Twinkies. I'm not a big peanut butter and jelly guy, just for the simple fact that, you know, peanut butter and jelly is peanut butter and jelly. It's been peanut butter and jelly since the beginning of time. What about ham and cheese? Has ham and cheese been ham and cheese since the beginning of time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's peanut butter and jelly. Anything that I can do to spice up peanut butter and jelly, I'm gonna <laughs> spice. Mm. See what you did there. This is my lunch, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I came hungry. So we're shooting these a little earlier than we shoot most of our videos. And I didn't eat breakfast, so. No, you did not. I was happy that it was a food challenge today. But I've been kind of happy so far. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy with this, so yeah. obviously you get a thumbs up from I me. I think it does work. Dogs love bacon. Doesn't your dog deserve to be rewarded with a great bacon flavored snack? <laughs> You've been a good boy. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
<clears throat> Don't know what we were thinking on this one, but uh, what we did is we quite simply took some of these bacon dog treats, poured them in a bowl, and poured some milk over the top. Canine carry outs. <clears throat> to make the, uh, the, the bacon strip cereal. Yeah, uh, bacon for breakfast. Um, yeah. At least it smells really good. It, it does. It, it's, it lights the studio up with a, a nice scent. <clears throat> However, leaves me asking, where's the eggs? <laughs> begging <laughs> eggs and begging strips. <laughs> That's uh, another episode for another time. I feel um, a very deep cleaning of the teeth coming after <laughs> this one. Go on. I mean, unless this is one of those like teeth cleaning treats. I hope it's not mint. <laughs> we'll have mint milk bacon strips. As long as the milk doesn't curdle. All right, I don't foresee myself taking more than one bite of yes. this. So we're gonna make this one first one count. So get. I'm gonna do one whole one and some pieces. All right, well, I got three large pieces, so. Oh. <laughs> Look what I was gonna get. Never looked at his. <laughs> I'm going all the way. He's all just right, uh, whatever. He's eating like a little old lady. A little old lady. Yeah. Take care of your bathtub, little old lady. <laughs> <laughs> that know, was the weirdest bathtub. Oh yeah, I've ever heard on this channel. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> Take care of your bathtub. Let me get some lady. more milk in here. <clears throat> Probably good. The milk hopefully will hide anything. Oh right. gosh. Uh, I might have to do some blurring out here. Our, our poor mouths. Here we go. And Three, taste buds. two. <laughs> what? Two on the floor. <laughs> Beef jerky, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, does not work. <laughs> Why did I get a big mouthful? Oh gosh, I'm not doing that. Ugh. Oh, man, it was horrible coming out. Too. Oh, oh, my chest. The gag reflex is real. Ah. Oh. Kind of tasted like somebody had fake bacon sitting in like a model home or something. Uh, <clears throat> How? It tastes like cardboard meat. <laughs> How does it smell so good and taste so bad? Oh. I think dogs only like that because they probably never had real bacon. Mm. Man, they never go back. Oh, poor animals. All right, going again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no round two on that one. That's I think it's note. safe to say that bacon strip cereal. No. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to tell us down in the comments. Also, don't forget. I'm wearing mythical merch today, but we have merch that you can find at blankzoneasked4.threadless.com. We are releasing new designs all the time. Also, if you've not already done so, please subscribe with notifications on. And without further ado, we'd like to thank you for watching Blank No One Asked For, and certainly no one asked. This. But wait, there's more. Still got that itch for more blanks no one asked for? Click that bottom left video down there to see the content that YouTube thinks would be the best for you.